countable and uncountable nouns. As the name suggests, the nouns which we can count are called countable nouns and the nouns which we cannot count comes under the category uncountable nouns. For example, women, pencil, eraser, house, apple, dog are the examples of countable nouns. Now let's talk about the rules of using countable and uncountable nouns. With countable nouns, we can use numbers or we can make their plurals. Like we can say, I have two pencils. So I am using the number two with the plural of pencil that is pencils. It means we can easily use numbers and we can make their plurals by adding s or es. Similarly, we can say two women, two erasers, three houses, four apples, five dogs, etc. And if we are talking about singular countable nouns, that is if I am talking about one pencil or one woman or one eraser, then I need to know that I will be using the article a or an. For example, I would say I have a pencil, there is a dog, it's a house. Here you need to remember this rule that we use articles a or an with singular countable nouns and we can make the plurals of these countable nouns just by adding s or es. Now let's talk about uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are those nouns which we cannot count like water, coffee, air, salt, sugar, love, advice and so on. We cannot count air. We cannot count water because air is a gas. Milk, water and oil are liquid and if we talk about salt and sugar, we cannot count the small particles or the crystals of sugar. And emotion and advice are abstract nouns. They are feelings. They are ideas. We cannot count them. And that is why they are considered uncountable nouns. That is why with uncountable nouns, we cannot use articles A or AN. And we cannot make their plurals as well. We never say waters, airs, oils. We say Oil floats on water. But we can use the quantity to talk about these uncountable nouns. For example, we can say 2 glass of milk, 1 tablespoon of sugar, a cup of coffee. We can use units of volumes and weight like kilogram, ounces, liters to talk about uncountable nouns. Another thing which we need to know about countable and uncountable noun is that we use the expression how many with countable nouns to ask question and the expression how much for uncountable nouns. For example, we will say how many pens do you have? We cannot say how much pens do you have? Similarly, we will use the expression how much. How much milk is there in the jug? Another thing is that when we know the number, we use 1, 2, 3, etc. But when we are not sure of the number or the quantity, then we use the expressions like a few, a little. We use a few for countable nouns and a little for uncountable nouns if we are talking about small quantity for example i can say i have a few apples i have a little water in my bottle and this is very important if we talk about big number or big quantity then we use the expression many or a lot of with countable nouns and with uncountable nouns we will use much or a lot of with uncountable nouns. You should notice here that a lot of 
can be used with both countable and uncountable nouns. I have many pencil. I have much water. I have a lot of pencils. I have a lot of coffee. In the same way, the word some can be used with both countable and uncountable nouns. Some houses are not numbered in my area. It means we do not know how many houses are not numbered. I have some water in my bottle. That means I am not sure about the quantity of water which I have in my bottle. I hope now you have understood the topic noun. But promise me that you will apply all the rules discussed here while using nouns.